Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to Stampin' Up! with Jamie Lynn Lake and the Stampin' Sugar Beets. Today I want to show you how to assemble this flower pot card. And every time I record this video, my camera either dies or um, I run out of memory. So I'm kind of just going to move on through this. Um, it's a flower pot card and the insert comes out where, where you write your sentiment and then you have your flowers on top. So it's a pocket card um, in the way that it's constructed. Um, let's get started. You are going to start with a nine by three and a half piece of cardstock, which is going to be your flower pot. So this is a nine by three and a half piece of cardstock. You're going to take it to your simply scored and you're going to score it at two inches and five and a half inches. Score it at two inches and five and a half inches. And then you're going to use your eyelet border punch, which right now is on the clearance rack and on the retirement list. So if you want this, you got to snag it by May 31st. Um, and you are going to border punch this short section here. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to mountain valley fold this. So if you're going to fold this into a mountain, then you need to fold this one into a valley. You're basically doing the opposite. And um, this is also known as a Z fold and you can see why. So what that's going to give you is the base for your pot card and it's going to look like that. That's the basic construction. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this to your paper cutter and you are going to very slightly cut a diagonal here to give it the shape of a pot, which I've already done. And it's going to look like this. So you're going to have your very slight angles so that it looks like a pot. Then you're going to take your Stampin' Sponge in Early Espresso and ink that up and age the edges of your card. And that'll really give that um, scallop edge a nice detail. So that's what you're going to be left with there. Then you're going to take a piece of satin, old olive satin ribbon and tie a bow around that top piece and snail that down. Now you're only going to tie the bow around the top piece so that it doesn't show on the back. So before you, before you snail it down, you're going to adhere that ribbon, snail that top portion down, and you're going to have that nice, clean backside. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the insert piece, which is two and a half by five and a half. So this is a two and a half, the green, the old olive is two and a half by five and a half. Um, and the whisper white mat is two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And you're going to layer those on top of each other. And I've rounded the corners. Before you lay the Whisper White on top of the Old Olive, you're going to take your sponge dauber, which looks like this, and ink it up in Old Olive, and then daub the edges of that Whisper White, just to give it the aged look. Um, you can't really see it, but it, it pops off of the Old Olive mat very nicely. Now you can see that I over daubed on the top edge of this Whisper White, so this is the portion that I'm going to use to, um, uh, to adhere my flowers. So I'm going to cover that up. Now you don't want to add snail to your pot until you know how big this is. So this is still left open. I'm going to put my, my insert inside right in the middle and I can see here that there's adequate space on each side for snail. I've already applied some so I've got a sticky snail on there and I'm going to close my card and push the edges down. And now I really do have that pocket for my insert. But I'm going to leave that up to adhere my flowers. What I've used here is, and like I said, I'm basically showing you how to assemble because I've already pre-punched all this stuff out to save time. I used my Blossom Punch to punch out two flowers out of the new Floral District Designer Series paper. And what I've done here is I have taken my bone folder, put my paper in between my thumb and my bone folder, and I've curled the edges of these petals to give them some nice um, dimension. And I've done that to both. So there's that. Then what I've done is I've taken my triple layer blossom punch, which looks like this, on the very last setting here, and I've punched through a piece of Daffodil Delight designer series paper. Say that five times fast. And I've used the middle piece here to go into the middle of my flower. And this one looks like this up here. So I'm going to layer my pieces. I've already taken my paper piercing tool and my map pack, which is also being reconfigured for the new catalog. So if you want this, you should also snag this by May 31st. And I've punched down right in the middle of my layered flower. 
I'm gonna use a mini brad, and the reason why I'm using mini brads on this is so as not to take attention away from the, the pretty colors and all the detail. I'm gonna use a mini brad to adhere, um, to secure all those layers together, and there's my flower. Now I've already made a couple, which are right here, and I've already um, added uh, Stampin' Dimensionals to the back. So now that I have my insert, I'm gonna center it in my flower pot, just the way I want it, and I'm going to start sticking my flowers. I'm gonna put this one right here in the bottom, kinda let those petals overhang on your pot to fill up that space. And here's another one I did with the green and the pink, and this is an old olive triple blossom punt in the middle here. I'm gonna stick that up here in the corner and I like the way that it looks all bunched together. I'm just gonna layer these petals together so that they can lie properly on top of each other. And then I'm gonna fill in that empty space with this top punch of the Blossom Builder Punch to make these leaves, and the stem portion of the Bird Builder Punch, which is gonna give me this. So now what I'm gonna do is, I've already curled these leaves using the same technique as the, um, the flower petals, and I'm gonna use a little glue dot on the back of one, and I'm gonna stick it to the other. Just to give it that cute little leaf look. And then I'm gonna take another glue dot on the back of both of these. I'm actually gonna use two. And I'm gonna stick this right up here in this empty space. And that'll cover that whisper white and give me some really cute little leaves. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another glue dot on the stem and I'm gonna stick this somewhere where it'll kind of stick out of my cart, just for some added, um, you know, detail and, and fun. So I'm gonna stick that right there behind that flower and that'll poke out the top. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side with this other stem piece. So I put a glue dot on the back of there. I'm gonna stick this right down where this white space is, down here. Looks like it needs one more um, leaf, so I'll go ahead and add that leaf down there later. But this is what it looks like when you pull out the insert. You have enough space to write a really cute little note or stamp a sentiment, and this looks pretty alone on its own. And then, when they're done reading, they can stick it back in the flower pot and you have this really gorgeous flower pot card. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. I know that this one kind of went by really quickly, and I'll put all the product numbers and everything I use for this card in the bottom of the video. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.